Hello everyone. In today's lesson, we will be learning how to solve quadratic inequalities. We will learn how to find the solution set to quadratic inequalities and we will start with this example here. Find the set of values of x for which x squared is greater than 10 plus 3x. Now, generally, to solve inequalities or quadratic inequalities, first we follow these steps. First, we rearrange the inequality so that we can make the right side zero. So here, we need to move 10 and 3x to the left with x squared to make this right side zero. After that, in step two, we solve the corresponding quadratic equation to find the roots or x-intercepts as we'll understand later in this example here. Then, we sketch the corresponding quadratic graph and after that, from our sketch, we will use it to find the required values or solutions. Now, before we start, if you would like to know more about sketching quadratics, you can check the video that appears top right of the screen. So here, we'll apply these four steps on this example. First, we'll make the right side zero. So here, we will subtract 10 and 3x from both sides, or we will move them to the left and make or reverse their signs. So we will have x squared minus 3x and minus 10 greater than 0. The inequality will remain as it is. After that, we will make the quadratic here equal 0. So instead of greater, we have here equal 0. This is the corresponding quadratic equation and now we will find the roots of this. So here, to find the roots or the x-intercept or to solve this, we need to factorize this quadratic. We can easily factorize it like this. We need two numbers add up to negative 3 and multiply to negative 10. The numbers will be negative 5 and positive 2. So that's why we can write it like this. x minus 5 multiplied by x plus 2 equals 0. Now, since the product is equal to 0, that means either here the first one is 0, so x minus 5 is equal to 0 or the second bracket x plus 2 is equal to 0 and now we will solve for x from each one so here if we have x minus 5 equals 0 if we move neg negative 5 to the right or add 5 then x will be positive 5 and down x will be negative 2 so now the two roots will be 5 0 and the second one here will be negative 2, 0. As we know, always at the roots or the x-intercepts, y will be 0, as we mentioned in that video about sketching quadratic that I mentioned before. So now, we will sketch the graph here. First, we will plot the two roots here on the x-axis. We have negative 2, 0 and 5, 0. Here, the coefficient of x squared is positive, which means the graph will open upward like this. Now, notice that here we need our inequality to be positive or greater than zero. So here we need it to be positive. Here, this quadratic represents the values of this quadratic inequality here. The parts here above the x-axis are positive values and here we have the negative values. It means for the values of x here, the inequality will be positive. The value of this quadratic inequality will be positive. And here, uh, the values of this inequality will be negative. Since here we need it to be greater than zero, so we will take only these positive parts. And now, finding or solving the quadratic inequality means finding the values of x. Here, as we see, for these values of x, on the right of 5, or we can say from 5 onward to infinity, the quadratic inequality will be positive. Here also, negative 2 or to the left to negative infinity, also the quadratic will be positive. That's why now, the solution will be x smaller than negative 2, or every value of x here less than negative 2, or here we have on the right 5 or more, or x is greater than 5. So this is the solution now. For every value of x smaller than negative 2 or greater than 5, the graph or the quadratic will be positive. 
Now keep in mind that negative 2 itself and 5 itself are not included in the solution. We have just smaller than. Because here in the question we have only greater than. If we had equal here, then we would have here also equal and here equal. And in that case, negative 2 and 5 will be a part of the solution. Now let's move on to the second example here. We have x squared minus 7x greater than or equal to 0. Here we notice that the right side is already 0, so we can directly find the corresponding quadratic equation by making it equal to 0. And also we can factorize it immediately in the same step. This can be factorized into x multiplied by x minus 7. So here, either x is equal to 0, or the second product x minus 7 is 0, which means x will be 7. So the two roots are 0, 0 here, and 7, 0 here. If we sketch now the graph, then first we'll plot the roots. We have here the origin 0, 0, and 7, 0. The graph will open upward like this. This will be the required graph. So now, again, our inequality should be greater than or equal to 0, which means it must be positive or zero. Here we have the positive part and here we have the negative part. So now since we need the inequality to be greater than or equal to zero, we will take these parts. For every value of x here and here the quadratic value will be positive. Here as we see x will be less than or equal to zero. But here on the other side we have greater than or equal to seven. So that's why the solution will be x smaller than or equal to 0, or we say or, not and, x will be greater than or equal to 7. Here 0 and 7 are included in the solution, since we have here equal as well, greater than or equal. If we would like to write the solution in interval notation, it will be like this. From negative infinity to 0, union, which means or, from 7 to infinity. Now let's move on to this example. Here we have negative 2x squared minus 5x plus 3 greater than or equal to 0. Here it would be better first to multiply both sides of the inequality by negative 1 to make this negative number positive. So we will have here negative 1 by negative 2 will be positive 2 plus 5x minus 3 less than or equal to 0. Here when we multiply negative 1 by negative 5 we have 5 negative 1 by 3 will be negative 3. But keep in mind, always when we multiply both sides of inequality by any negative number, we reverse the direction of the inequality. So now we will find the corresponding quadratic equation by making the inequality here, or this expression, equal to 0. Here we have a quadratic equation. You can solve it by factorization or by using the quadratic formula that appears here. In our example, a is equal to 2, b is 5, and c is equal to negative 3. So now if we plug in a, b, c in this formula here, we will have x equals negative b. So this is negative b, which is negative 5, plus b squared, which is 5 squared, minus 4 times a times c divided by 2 times a, which is 2. If we calculate this, it will be positive half. Now the other roots will be the same, but we put here minus instead of plus. So we will have now the same exact expression here, but we put minus in the middle here. So the second root will be negative three. Therefore now the two roots are half zero and negative three zero. If we now sketch the graph, then first we have the roots negative three zero and half zero. Now here we need to graph the quadratic expression here 2x squared plus 5x minus 3. This one here, not the original one. And by the way, the solution of this or this will be the same. So here we have 2 which is positive and that's why the graph will open upward like this. Here we have the positive part and the negative part here will be below. But this time we need our quadratic to be smaller than or equal to zero. It means either zero or negative. As we see, the negative part is only here, which means now we will take this part, the negative part. 
So here, for every value of x between negative 3 and half, the quadratic value will be negative. And that's why now the solution will be between negative 3 and half. Negative 3 and half themselves are included because here we have equal. Or if we write the solution as interval notation, we will have like this from negative 3 to positive half. I hope that you have found the video helpful. Please consider subscribing and thank you for watching.